For this project, you need a pencil or something else to draw with, a wider paintbrush, and maybe a more narrow one, something round to either trace onto paper or to paint on. I'm using a vinyl record that's gessoed, a reference photo, and paint. Some darker colors to lighter colors, and some white paint to mix tints. Let's start by drawing a grid on our disco ball. In the middle of your circle, draw a curved line. Add curved lines on either side of that first one. Continue adding more curved lines all the way to the top and bottom of your circle. As you get closer to the bottom or the top, draw your lines closer to one another. Next, we'll draw our vertical lines. I'm starting in that center band, drawing lines just far enough apart from each other so that they make kind of a square shape. Draw lines on your next row, staggering them in between the lines that you drew on your first row. Continue adding lines across all of your rows, staggering them so they don't line up exactly with each other. Take a look at your reference photo to see the value, the darks, the lights, and the midtones. Next, we'll paint. I'm going to start with some midtones. So I'll find a color that's in the middle of the darkest and the lightest and start painting. Let's start with pink. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. Just add some color to each of your squares. Now I'm gonna choose another mid to light tone, orange, and paint some squares using that color. It's okay if the colors blend together a little bit.
Now I want to paint some of the highlights. So I'm going to take one of my mid-tones and mix it with some white to make it lighter. Paint some of your squares with that light value. If you need to rinse your brush off in the water, make sure you pat it dry really well on a paper towel so you don't water down your paint. Next, I'm choosing a dark value to add some of the shadows. Next, we'll paint in the grout lines. I'm going to use a light color, yellow, in between my darkest values, my blues and my purples. Next, I'm choosing to use a darker value to paint the grout in the lighter areas to create contrast.
Now add another layer of paint to touch up any areas or create more interest.